Hello, beautiful people. Today we are going to be watching one of the Dr. Diddleys get caught by a Chris Hansen sting operation, and what's better than listening to a random YouTuber talking about it the entire time? Probably just watching the video on its own. Anyway, before we get into it, this video is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious, and if you do, that sucks because I'm not a lawyer. Anyway, sit back, take a shit, enjoy the video. Love you guys, let's get into it. Back at the house, there are more suspected predators on the way. This man pulling into our driveway is 38-year-old David Hilvich. He builds tunnels. In the chat, he had uh, mentions uh, molesting another 15-year-old. He's been chatting with a decoy, pretending to be 14. He says he'd rather not come to her home. He'd like to take her to a hotel. Emily, wave him in. Here he comes. Good job. Good job. We got him coming. Online, using the screen name Tunnels12000, he tells the decoy named Tracy in Excess this isn't his first time meeting a teen on the Internet. I did it with a 15-year-old before, and I came real close to getting caught. I didn't have sex with her, everything but. He later says he was questioned by detectives but never charged. Now he wants to have sex with Tracy. I want all of you, Tracy, in every way. You show me, okay? Hey! Come on in! I made you some sweet tea. I don't know if I want to do it. Oh, well, I'm just gonna throw this in the dryer real quick, or everything's gonna get up. Wrinkles. Okay, this will only take a second. <laughs> I'm sorry you couldn't bring your bike. I would have loved to see it. Do you have a seat right over there, please? Good. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. So when I confront the 38-year-old, his memory seems a bit foggy. And so you were chatting with a girl named Tracy. 38? There is no way this guy is 38. Did, did he drink enough five-hour energy to age 13 fucking years? Right. And how old is Tracy? I don't have no idea. The problem for you, David, is that I have the chat right here. How old are you again? Not sure if I read that right. 14. She says she's 14 right here, right? I guess so. So what you said before was not true. Correct. Okay. Have you ever done this before? No. Have you ever been with an underage girl before? No, not sexually, no. I did it with a 15-year-old before, and I came real close to being caught. We right. stay out all night and fall asleep in my oh, truck. I didn't break the law that I knew of, and the police officer told me that. And, and why? I don't know what the law is, but he didn't. He questioned me. I went back home that night, and he called me Monday. When I read him some of what he wrote in his chat log, he first tries to blame the girl. I would do it in a minute with you, hoping I would stay out of jail. You ask her if she likes oral sex. And she asked me several things also. Does that make it right? No, and she invited me here. So because a 14-year-old girl invites you to come over, it's okay for her? I don't make a... it right. It's wrong. I admit I'm wrong. Why did you do it? There is no reason. I'd want to stay all night. Did you bring uh, any alcohol with you? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you bring exactly? Exactly what she asked. Some people ask what gives Chris Hansen the right to delay an arrest just so he can humiliate these people on his show. His job is not to make fun of these people. His job is to figure out why they do the things they do and show everybody the dangers of online social media for children and honestly everybody else. The people on the show, however, humiliate themselves by showing up trying to meet a child after an hour of knowing that they exist. And if the pedo brings some kind of alcohol or something that the kid wants, it shows that he's on the other side of the phone. Honestly, I feel like every city should perform these kind of sting operations. I would rather my tax money be spent trying to take pedos off the street instead of putting them in private jets. And if you think I'm kind of stretching there, you can look up how TCAP ended. When I ask him what his plan was here tonight, he says he's so not really sure. If this 14-year-old girl was willing to have sex with you, would you have had sex with her? I can't say for sure. I never did with that other girl, and that's the reason why. That's the reason why why? She was underage. Aren't there any girls or women of, of uh, legal age that you could date? I, mean, I what? have a fiancé. Huh? I have a fiancé. You have a fiancé. And how do you suppose this is going to play when she finds out about this? It's not going to play at all. Now it's time to tell Tunnels 12,000 what he's walked into. 
I need to tell you that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and, and we're doing a story on adults who meet teens online and then try to meet them in person for sex. If there's anything else you want to tell us about this situation... Uh, you know, I can understand how y'all legally been able to do this. Oh, we can. Okay. I love that he's asking legal questions as if he's not here to meet a fucking child. Now, then he says he'd like to say something more. I just need to uh, stay off the internet, maybe. He says he's not a predator. He's a lonely man raising two children alone who uses the internet to meet women. The predator is somebody that constantly does that. I don't do that. You can't really believe a guy if he contradicts himself more than twice. He says that he's lonely, but he also says he has a fiance. He says that he doesn't do this often, but he admits to doing it before. This guy is so full of shit, his eyes are brown. You can't believe a fucking word he says. Honestly, just lock him up, throw away the key, have a good day. I would prefer to have someone my age that would prefer to have me. But if some female off makes an offer to you, and you're lonely already, it's tempting for a person. What made this so tempting for you? Being lonely. Anything else you'd like to tell us? No. Are y'all gonna get me arrested when I leave? Had he seen our previous reports, he would know exactly what's going to happen next. Sheriff's office, get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get down! Get on the ground! I can't believe some people just don't like Chris Hansen. He takes pedos off the street. Like, come on, man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and a very special thank you to Danny Martinez. Thank you so much for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. Like, so, on a dead-ass note, I fucking love you, dude. I don't have friends. That's why I like when you guys subscribe. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.